Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, our today's topic is annualized net present value. Annualized net present value technique is used to compare mutually exclusive projects having unequal lives in NPV terms. There are three steps. Step one, calculate net present value of each project. And net present value is equal to present value of cash flows minus initial investment. In second step, annualized net present value will be computed by dividing net present value with present value interest factor for given uh, interest rate and for given life of the uh, project. And in step third, we will have to select the project having highest annualized net present value. Basically, we have to see that if there are two projects whose life jo hai, wo different, hai. एक प्रोजेक्ट जो है वो हमने इस एग्जांपल में 6 इयर्स का रखा है और दूसरा प्रोजेक्ट है उसके जो कैश फ्लोस की है वो 3 इयर्स तक है जब एक प्रोजेक्ट जिनकी अन इक्वल लाइफ हो तो उनको कैसे कंपेयर किया जाए तो उसके लिए कैपिटल बजटिंग में हम एक टेक्निक यूज करते हैं जिस टेक्निक को हम एनुअलाइज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू का नाम देते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल हमारे पास दो प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं प्रोजेक्ट ए है हमारे पास और प्रोजेक्ट बी है प्रोजेक्ट ए की इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट हमारे पास जो है वो 85000 है और प्रोजेक्ट बी की इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट हमारे पास 70000 है अगर तो इनकी इक्वल लाइफ होती दोनों प्रोजेक्ट्स के सेम इयर्स के जो है वो कैश फ्लोस होते ऑपरेटिंग कैश फ्लोस होते फिर तो हम डिसाइड कर लेते नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू पे या इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न पे तो अब हम इस चीज को इस ग्राउंड पे कंपेयर नहीं कर सकते सिंपल एनपीवी पे हम अपना कंपैरिजन नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज़ बोथ ऑफ दीस टू प्रोजेक्ट्स हैव डिफरेंट लाइफ्स ऑफ द कैश फ्लोस नाउ वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिसाइड बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ दीस टू प्रोजेक्ट्स एज वी स्टेटेड दैट इन सेकंड स्टेप वी विल कंप्यूट एनुअलाइज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एंड देन वी विल डिसाइड which is the highest ANPV for the concerned project. And that project will be accepted. Okay. The cost of capital is 10% per annum for both projects. Initial investment of project A is 85,000 for B is 70,000. Project A's life is six years and project B's life is three years. Now we have cash flows from first year to six year, 35,000, 30,000, 25,000. 20,000, 15,000, and 10,000. And for project B, uh, cash flows are 28,000, 33,000, and 38,000. Now, students, we will compute in this table the present value of cash flows. Then we will get the sum of the present values of the cash flows is equal to we know that present value interest factor for given interest rate and for given life of the period that will be computed by in simple manner is equal to one divided by one plus cost of capital and its power is from commencing from the first year 0.909 and then we will drag it up to these values sorry here one issue is that that we have not fixed the uh, cost of capital now we fix it and drag these interest factors here for simplification for simple understanding in this table we can prepare this table in a manual way और उसमें हम ऊपर कॉलम्स का कैश फ्लो को फर्स्ट कॉलम के हैं और सेकंड कॉलम के और थर्ड कॉलम इज इक्वल टू 1 मल्टीप्लाइड 2 सो प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लोस इज इक्वल टू कैश फ्लोस मल्टीप्लाइड प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इंटरेस्ट फैक्टर एंड वी विल ड्रैग दिस वैल्यूज एंड द सम इज इक्वल टू दैट इज 
1,4013. Now, net present value for project A is present value of cash flows minus initial investment of project A. So, this one minus initial investment. We got the value for uh, project A regarding net present value. Uh, now we will compute the uh, net present value for project uh, B. For this purpose, we will compute first present value interest factor uh, for project B. First cash flow that's equal to 1 divided by 1 plus I that is cost of capital and its power is 1 and we will fix the in cost of capital or interest rate by putting dollar sign and then we will compute this value. Okay, it is 0 0.909 and we will take the interest factors. Now compute the present value cash flows 28,000 multiplied 0.909 first interest factor then we will drag it up to here and we will get the sum of cash flows and then get the sum of the cash flows and we will get the net present value for project B uh, by <clears throat> deducting present value of cash flows minus initial investment. And the initial investment for project B is 70,000. So, again, is equal to minus 70,000. It is 11,277. Now, for this purpose, we need uh, for annualized net present value, net present value is divided by present value trust factor for given interest rate and for uh, given number of periods. So the for project A, the life of the project is six years and for project B, the life of the project is three years. So for this computation, we will separately compute these both of these two values. So <clears throat> one minus one divided by one plus our cost of capital and its power is six years its power is six years We'll close this function up to here. And we will commence from here. Divided by interest so it is four point the interest factor is 4.355 uh, five five for project a and for project b the present value interest factor will be computed in the same manner but the years that we will use here that are three years is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus cost of capital and its power is 3 years we'll close all these three functions divided by 10%. So it is 
four eight eight. Now, dear students, we have computed both of these two values. Just to get an understanding that how we will get this value, and we we have now both of these two values. Let we indicate these values. One value that we required here, uh, the net present value for project A and net present value for project B. And we need uh, the present value interest factor for project A and net present value, uh, sorry, present value interest factor for project B. Now, it is very simple that we will divide net present value of project A with project A uh, uh, values interest factor and in the same manner for B. So let we compute here. Is equal to, we know that NPV divided by present value interest factor for given interest rate for given number of periods. Is equal to the pre net present value of project A is uh, 19013 divided by interest factor First, let remove the signs. Okay, we will compute. Okay, dear, uh, now we will compute the net present value, annualized net present value for project A is equal to D20 divided by interest factor. So it is 4,365 uh, and we will compute in the same manner the net present value for project B, annualized net present value for the project B, that is 4,534. So the project B has greater value than project A's annualized net present value. Now, we have already indicated that the project which have higher annualized net present value CN is that the project B has higher annualized net present value than A. Project Project B has higher A and B V than project A. So project B is accepted. So in this way, we decide if two projects have unequal lives, we decide on annualized debt present value that which project is accepted. Thank you so much.